Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Marissa Roots Undone. Thank you for clicking on today's video. And today's video is going to be a bit of a rant slash chit chat slash me just expressing how I've been feeling about my natural hair for the past three to six months-ish. I would say this started about six months ago and the feeling has just got worse ever since. Um, so yeah, I haven't said anything up until now because I guess you could say I was afraid of backlash. Um, obviously in the natural hair community, you can have like natural hair Nazis. And I guess, yeah, I was just afraid of backlash. But at the end of the day, this is my platform. It's my blog or YouTube channel. Um, and so this is my space to express what I may be going through. And some of you guys may be going through the same thing as well to help you. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. Um, I've got some notes on my phone just in case I go off track and start just going on a rant to get me back on track but if you follow me on instagram which is at roots undone you will know that monday night i posted a picture of some really bad split ends that i've been dealing with um ever since i big chopped which is two years ago this month um i've been dealing with really severely bad split ends um of course now having curly hair or kinky hair textured hair whatever the hair curls it coils it kinks it twists it locks up together it's just what curly hair does and that leads to fairy knots or string or single strand knots and um, that can lead to breakage and split ends and things like that however I feel like my split ends are just on another level and nothing I do makes them go away literally nothing so um, this isn't my first time going natural I went natural for the first time when I was about 14 ish I've got a natural hair video that you can watch I'll leave the link below but um, I went natural for the first time when I was 14 and uh, before that I started to learn about natural hair and the whole natural hair community so um, like I'm not new to natural hair like I know how to take care of natural hair which is the whole reason why I started this platform um, to document my journey and also help other people so when I first had this split end problem when I big chopped two years ago of course I thought it was the scissors that I was using that because they were quite old I thought they were blunt and so causing split ends and so I bought some new ones. The problem improved slightly, but nothing major. I then started speaking to other natural hair gurus and stuff like that. And they were just giving me the same advice that I was already giving myself, giving other people and um, using myself. And it was working for everyone else, but it just wasn't working for me. It would be adv advice such as make sure you're uh, moisturizing your hair regularly make sure that you're sleeping with a silk or satin bonnet or pillowcase make sure you're wearing protective styles to protect your ends make sure that you're detangling from ends to roots make sure that you're detangling with a wide tooth comb not like a fine tooth comb make sure that um i make sure you're not using too much heat you know like all that basic advice you would be given if you were to say to someone that you're struggling with split ends or breakage and you need help all of that advice i was using and it was helping everyone else but it just doesn't help me literally nothing i do helps my split ends now i have decided that because um of my split ends and some other things i'm going to talk about in this video that i really want to texturize my natural hair I say that because unless there's another reason behind why my ends split so badly or just constantly split, like there's no end to it, I can trim my hair and next week my ends will feel like I didn't do a trim last week. Like there's no end to it. So I feel like unless there's another reason, like an underlying reason behind why my ends are so bad and it's affecting me trying to retain length because my hair grows at a fine speed, but I just have to constantly cut off these bad ends. Um, so yeah, sorry, I keep going off track. Unless there's another reason why or behind why my ends are so bad, I feel like it's because my hair is so thick and the amount of manipulation that I have to put my hair through just to maintain it and style it is causing my ends to become split and damaged. Um, that's obviously not the only reason why I want to texturize my hair. There's loads of ways we can get around that, but that is just one reason that I think could be leading to my split ends. Um, my hair is so thick that, for example, if you were to come to me and say you're struggling with split ends or hair breakage, I would say number one, stop using heat on your hair if you do, which I don't use a lot of, and number two, stop using tools in your hair such as combs and brushes. However, however, my hair is so thick I cannot not use combs and brushes. I have to use combs and brushes in my hair. Um, I've tried finger detangling only before and it just leads to matted hair. I cannot get through all of my hair with my hands alone. 
so that my hair doesn't like tangle and mat up on itself like I have to thoroughly detangle my hair and to do that I have to use combs and brushes of course combs and brushes do rip and snag through your hair no matter how careful you are of course I'm working on like moisturized hair hair that's got conditioner in it for slip I start at my ends and I work to my roots but I still kind of like now and again I will still feel pulling and snagging I'm just like it makes me cringe but I have to use combs and brushes because my hair is that thick um, another reason why I want to well another reason why I say I have to put my hair through so much manipulation because it's so thick is that I can't really protective style um, you're probably thinking what do you mean you can't protective style but I feel like my protective styles aren't protective or low manipulation styles because I have to put my hair through so much manipulation to get it into that style simple things like this sleek low bun my hair's in a bun this is like a weft like wrapped around the bun um, but yeah, this hairstyle should take what five ten minutes for an average some of average head of hair. For me, this style takes like thirty to forty five minutes. Like it's ridiculous. And majority of that time is just me brushing through my hair constantly, just brushing. And I don't mean trying to get it slick or trying to get it sleek in the sense that making sure everything's laid down. I literally mean just trying to get it slick and sleek, as in trying to get all of the hair on my head going back like into the same direction or trying to get all of the hair on my head like up going in the same direction and of course you guys don't see that when I'm on camera and I film tutorials because I can't show you 10 minutes of me just brushing my hair in one direction like that's ridiculous of course it edits that out but that is my reality it takes so much manipulation to do basic maintenance to my hair and basic hairstyles because my hair is so thick and I feel like it's starting to impact impact the overall health of my hair um, for example this hairstyle once I did manage to get all of it slick into like a puff at the back i then had to separate my puff into five sections just to be able to get that into a bun so i had to like separate my puff into five sections and then do like five doo-doo plaits and then kind of like try and twist up the plaits into like a bun just because my hair is that thick i can't just do a puff and then just wrap it around into a bun like so that was more manipulation because i had to comb through the puff again like i, I just comb through my hair to get it into the bun and then what into the puff and then I had to go through the puff to get into a bun like it's just so much manipulation and um yeah like I said I feel like it's starting to over impact the overall health of my hair even simple things like putting my hair up into a puff that should be a quick five minute hairstyle I that takes me like half an hour it's ridiculous there'll be times when I'm thinking okay I need to put my hair up tomorrow I'm gonna wake up 20 30 minutes earlier it's now 45 minutes later and I'm now late to uni or late to work well I can't be late to work but <coughs> sorry I'm now like late to uni and I had to leave the house with my hair looking a mess and late just because there's so much of it there's just so much of it like I just can't deal like it's just ridiculous and I don't know if I just have small hands like I'm quite a small person maybe I just have small hands but when I was younger my mum would always keep my hair blowed out and plaited up my hair blowed out is still as thick as my hair is in my nap in its natural state so it doesn't even do much but yeah she'd always keep it blowed out and plaited up because she knows how thick and how much of a handful or handfuls my hair is I just don't know when I was younger I relaxed my hair when I was 12 and then I went natural and then I texturized it and then I went natural again but I heat damaged it like I heat trained it to thin it out and now I know why because it's so bloody thick like I think I forget how thick my hair is sorry I just ran out of memory <laughs> but of course i can do things such as wear two space buns and um yeah styles where i'm trying to get my hair into two puffs instead of like one but i feel like i look quite young as it is and you guys might look at me right now and say no you don't but honestly in real life i'm five foot i'm quite petite i've walked through town once wearing a wash and go and a, literally a child like a little boy in a school uniform has walked up to me and been like oh excuse me what school do you go to like trying to move to me and i'm like sorry i'm in uni like I i'm 20 i'm 21 this year and that's me just on a normal day i don't really wear a lot of makeup on a normal day so that's just me on a normal day let alone if i was to walk around wearing two space buttons or what might as well be two pigtails in my hair like i'd be asking for banter i get mistake mistaken for like a 16 or 17 year old as it is without walking around with like pigtails in my hair so styles like two space buttons just aren't really for me um there are other styles such as i've seen people do a style where they have like a braided headband and then it goes back into like a bun and of course I have tried that before and it is slightly easier as I'm getting less hair going back into a bun but again I feel like I just look like a child it's just really young when I wear my hair like that and I just don't feel attractive if I'm honest and 
I don't really want to wear hairstyles that I don't really feel attracted in because no one should have to like no one should have to wear hairstyles that they don't feel attracted in. I feel like I look young and I'm I'm 21 this year. I'm not walking around looking like a child. So hairstyles like that aren't really for me. Of course, I can wear wigs and weaves. And since September, September since December, um, I have been wearing quite a lot of um, wigs just because I find them easy. I can take them off, tend to my hair underneath. I can moisturize my hair, clean my scalp, and pop them back on. But I'm not really a big wig wearer. I've heard some of you DM me saying that you struggle with extremely thick hair as well. And you deal with that by wearing wigs, which is fine if you're a wig person. I've never really been a big wig, wig or weave person. And I don't think I ever really will be a big wig or weave person. I really do enjoy wearing my real hair out. I do enjoy the switch up of wigs and weaves and um, being able to go from like short hair to long hair black hair to blonde hair like that's all fun and everything but more than anything i do enjoy wearing the hair that grows out of my scalp out so i don't really see wigs and weaves being a long-term solution to my extremely thick hair or dealing with my extremely thick hair um i also this also goes on to say that a lot of the time i don't feel attractive with my natural hair out and i know that sounds really bad to say but top knot buns have been my favorite hairstyle since i don't know when probably since like i left school before I went natural or before I started to take natural hair seriously, top knot buns were my go-to. And they actually did a top knot on thick natural hair video a few weeks ago, so you can watch that. But I find that nine times out of ten, when I do top knot buns, I get like a hump here and like a hump at the back here and like a hump at the side. And then I just feel like it gives me a weird alien head shape and I just don't feel attractive. And it just doesn't look cute. Like my head just looks like all long and humpy and bumpy and it's just not cute and even again with this hairstyle right here i don't really like it at the moment it looks okay on camera but i can feel that like it's not as flat as it could be like the yesterday when i did this hairstyle it was extremely bulgy i managed to flatten it out overnight by tying a headscarf on it but if i wasn't able to flatten it out i would have probably just jumped in the shower and washed my hair and started all over again because my hair is that thick, I have to start. If I change my hairstyle, I have to start all over again. There's no just brushing my hair down or just brushing it out. I have to start all over again. Um, so yeah, nine times out of ten, I don't feel attractive with my hair out because I'm either wearing hairstyles that I don't feel attractive in or hairstyles that I do like where they just look lumpy and humpy and bulgy and it just makes me look like I have an alien head. <laughs> it's just not cute. Um, Another reason is I often get headaches or a sore scalp from wearing certain hairstyles like this hairstyle right now. You're probably think you're probably thinking, well, loosen it then. I tried that, it doesn't work. Um, when I loosen my hair bands, I just end up with lumps and humps and bulges. And my hair bands or headbands rather, I use doubled up headbands because my hair is so thick I can't grab it all in one hand, let alone grab it all in one hand and then get it into a hairband. So I use like doubled up headbands as hair ba as hairbands, and um, yeah, it's not that tight. It might look tight, but it's not actually that tight. But from where there's just so much hair all going back into like one direction, I'll end up with like headaches. Or when I take the hair headband out, I'll end up with like a kind of sore scalp in one patch from where it just feels like really tender. And um, yeah, I'm just fed up of. I'm just fed up. And like this one's quite funny but I often lose headbands in my hair. Um, when, right now talking about it is funny, but when you're like in a rush and you've got places to go and you've got like half an hour to get out of the house and you can't find the headband that's in your hair somewhere and it's gonna take you half an hour to do a basic puff anyway, it's not fun. Like, I feel like, and I feel like I'm just ranting, but honestly, you won't be able to understand what I'm talking about unless you have extremely thick hair yourself and you deal with what I'm going through. I always say that I feel like I have two heads of hair on one head, and that's because I remember there's a picture of about a year, from about a year ago now, and I've got my hair into um, two puffs. I think it was about to blow dry my hair, so I separated off into two halves, and I, hold, I held my hand up to um, the puff on this side of my head, and the puff was bigger than my hand, and that's one side of my head. I still had a whole other puff on this side of my head. So I literally feel like I have two heads worth of hair on my head and it's probably gonna be really easy for you guys to say that, oh, don't give up on everything that you feel, don't give up on, give up on two years worth of natural hair growth and 
etc and it's really supportive to hear that but honestly it's so easy to say that when you're not the person dealing with two heads worth of hair on one head every day or every week or just on a regular basis i just don't see a permanent solution to this apart from me texturizing my hair basically like i'm just really not enjoying my hair I would go as far to say, as far as to say that I probably pretty much resent how thick my hair is right now. I don't enjoy doing my hair at all. Um, when I wash it and I detangle it and everything, and I get out of the shower and it's all soft and conditioned, I'm like, oh, like, I love my hair. I can't believe I ever wanted to put a texturizer in it. And then I go to style my hair and I'm just game over. I'm just done. Like, I always say if I could rip patches of hair out of my scalp and give it away, I would. Honestly, I would. And I would smile, I would smile through the pain of me ripping patches of hair on my head. The amount of times I thought about taking scissors and cutting patches out, but then I think that's not a good idea on Russia because your hair will grow back really uneven. But if I, like, I, like I said, I feel like unless you struggle yourself with extremely thick hair, you won't know what I'm really talking about. Um, the only really thing that's stopping me from texturizing my hair is that I won't be able to call myself a natural hair blogger anymore. Um, I don't know what me texturizing my hair would mean for Roots Undone or the future of Roots Undone as this whole platform I built is based on natural hair care. And of course my hair will still, if everything, if everything goes to plan, my hair will still look natural and it will still have texture, it will still have a curl pattern, it will still act like natural hair, but technically it wouldn't be natural. And I don't know if that means like certain brands might not want to work with me anymore or work with me in the future because I'm not natural. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's unfair to myself and it's unfair to you guys for me to keep coming on camera like, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Marissa Reeks and Done. Here's my natural hair and it's flourishing. When in real life, I'm currently resenting my hair. I hate doing my hair. It's just so much of it. It's just so much. Like it gets me. It honestly gets me down. So I don't know. I've always said I'm not really someone to tell people what to do or what not to do in their hair. All I ask is that people make informed decisions, and I feel like I will be making an informed decision. I have a blog post that I created about or I wrote about two years ago, where I spoke about texturizers, relaxers, and curly perms and what the differences are between them or the lack of differences are between them and um, how they work and how they physically, chemically, scientifically work. They work by breaking down the hair shaft. So I know what a texturizer will do to my hair scientifically. Like, I know that I'll have to incorporate more protein into my regimen afterwards. Like, I know that I'll have to make changes in how I look after my hair as my hair will be weaker. So I'm not doing this on a whim, like I know like what I'm doing like I'm looking into what brand of texturizer I may use um, I'm looking into like I kind of know what method I would use if I do go through with it so like I, I'm making an informed decision um, but yeah my hair honestly just gets me down and part of me I, I really know that I will miss my natural hair but I feel like I will enjoy the pros of having texturized hair more than I will miss kind of having natural hair. So I don't know. I mean, I'll miss how much volume my hair has, but then I feel like I can always just pick my hair out and stuff like that for volume. But right now my hair is just it's just so much and it honestly gets me down. So let me know if um yeah, I also wanted to say, some of you guys made comments saying your hair looks fine, why is you on camera, your hair looks fine, what do you mean your hair's bulgy, it looks fine. But that's because you see what I show you. Honestly, social media, like, it's not 100% real. You see what people want to show you. So if I don't want to show you my hair when it's all bulky and bulgy and it looks like I have a weird head shape, then you're not going to see that part of, like, that side of it. Um, so, yeah, honestly, I enjoy... I dislike my hair more than I like my hair these days. I dislike my hairstyles more than I like and enjoy my hairstyles these days. And it's becoming like a big pain in my life. Like, I don't want to loosen my curl pattern, I'm not fussed about changing my hair texture. I literally just want a head of hair that I can hold in one hand. 
was like just I had of hair that's just not ridiculously thick. Like I said, I don't know, maybe I just have small hands because I'm quite a small person, but my mum can like attest for how thick my hair is. <laughs> A part of me feels like I would have given up if I texturized my hair and I feel like I would have taken the easy route out and I don't feel like it's a good, um, what's the word, good like show for people. Like, I, yeah, I feel like I would have just given up, but honestly, I don't see another way out. Yes, I can wear wigs, but I don't really enjoy wearing wigs. I enjoy wearing my hair up more than I wear wigs. Yes, I could wear other hairstyles, but I don't feel attracted to wearing this hairstyle. So why should I be forced to wear other hairstyles? So I don't feel attracted to wear it and just be able to say, I'm natural though. Um, yeah. I don't know. If you've been feeling a similar way or the same way, let me know. And yeah, I haven't made an actual decision yet, but I thought I'd just come and let you guys know what's going on with me. Mm -hmm.